Hello everyone, this is the North American Math Contest Go Go Go. This week we are going to do a new problem. Let T and denote the sum of the positive integer divisors of n. Find the sum of the six least positive integers n that have solutions to this. So we know that there's only two cases. T n is equal to 2 or 5. T n plus 1 is equal to 2 or 5. This is solution 1. And solution 2 is Tn is equal to 3 or 4, and Tn plus 1 is equal to 3 or 4. For the first one, 2 means that the number has to be a prime. 5 means that the number 2 all. So this is a prime, and this must be this. If this is this, then this must be this. So 5 is prime to the power of 4. For this, 3 must be prime to the power of 2, while 4 must be prime to the power of uh, prime 2 or prime 1 to the power of 3. After we understand that, the problem is going to be a bit easier. So, we can start trying from that. From this. So we said p as 2, but since p is 2, the number either 3 or 5, they are all prime numbers and does not have 4 divisors. Let's now try p is equal to 3. So that one number is going to be 9, and another number can be 8 or 10. If this number is 8, 8 has 4 divisors, 1, 2, 4, 8. If this number is 10, it is also okay. So that we can see that both numbers 8 and 9 works as n. Now let's try this. Assume p is equal to 2 for here. So the number is going to be 16. And the number on the left of it is 15 and on the not right of it is 17. So uh, we find that 15 is not a prime number, but 17 is a prime number. So 16, 17 is a successful combination. And n can also be 16. Let's try the next number, which is here. We assume that p is equal to 5. So 25, the left number is 24, and the right number is 26. So 26, it works, because 26 only has 4 divisors, but 24 does not. So therefore, the next number for n is 25. We then set p as 7, 49. The left number is 48, which has many divisors. The right number is 50, which has more than 4 divisors. So 49 does not work. Now let's try here. Here, 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. 81. The left number is 80, which has... which does not work. And the right number is 82. 82 is not a prime either, so 81 is not working. The next number that applies here is p is equal to 11, the next prime. So the number is 121, and the number the other two numbers can be either 120 or 122. We find that 122 has more than four, four divisors, while 122 has only four divisors, which is 2, 61, 1, 122. So 121 also works. Recall that 4 to the 4 is equal to 256. So we recall that the next number that applies in here is 5 to the power of 4, which is going to be a pretty large number. So let's try here first. The next number is going to be 13. So we try 169, 168, and 170. We find that here, 168 does have more than 4 divisors, and 170 also has more than 4 divisors. So 169 does not work. Now let's try the next number, p is equal to 17. 289, 288, 290. 288, it has more than 4 divisors. 290, it also has four, more than 4 divisors. So let's try the next number, 361. The left number is 360, and the right number is 362. 360 does not work, and 362 
362, it is equal to 2 times 181, where 181 is a prime. So 362 has only 4 divisors. So therefore, we find our all 4 numbers. 8, 9, 16, 25, 121, 361. Let's add them up. Which we get our final answer is 540. 540. Here we come to the end of our, of our lesson, and I hope you have learned a lot. See you next week. Bye. In fact, problems, they have many solutions, and my solution is only a part of them. If you have more cha challenging solutions, please comment below. And don't forget, I will also post my problems there. See you tomorrow!